back with a what's in my puppy bag video. So I wanted to show you guys what was in my puppy bag, but I wanted to make sure that we were actually using it and being able to go out with Oakley before I nail down exactly what we needed in it. So now that we have done that, I'm gonna show you what we have. This bag may have been our diaper bag for Tobin, but he doesn't need it anymore because he's potty trained. Thank you, Lord. So we decided to repurpose it and use it for Oakley's bag. And we do have a few things just in case for Tobin, if anything was to happen. So let's get into it. So up here, there is a compartment, but it's not really big enough for a whole lot. I thought my phone could fit in it, but I have the iPhone 13 Max. It doesn't fit. A smaller phone most likely would, but if you go in here, we have a compartment here, a compartment here, and a bigger compartment here. On the sides, there's two little pockets as well. On this side, we keep his water bottle. Love that. On this side, we keep his leash with his poop bag dispenser on it and his harness. We keep that on the side so that if we have to go for walks without his bag or anything, it's just easy to grab and go. In this compartment, we have his ball, of course, and he really loves it. We also keep a chew toy in there in case he needs that, especially for car rides. He does not love the car that much, so I have to give him something to chew on. We keep in this compartment extra poop dispenser bags. We have three of them because that's what came with the pack and an extra poop dispenser. Wait a minute, did I just say poop dispenser? As in it dispenses poop? And if so, how long have I been calling it that? I was sitting here editing and I'm like, wait, what did I say? Anyways, it is a poop bag dispenser, not a poop dispenser. Back to the video. We also keep some extra clothes for Tobin, just in case, you never know. That's that compartment. There's another compartment here, but I don't keep anything in it. I think there's maybe some extra poop bags in there. Let's see. In the larger compartment, which is actually pretty big and pretty nice, there's a really cool mesh bag right here that has a zipper, which I love. So I decided to put his treats and his food in here. That way, if I did have to open this compartment, he's not gonna like run and gun me down for some treats. So I keep some of these little soft puppy bites in here. I have some fruit snacks for my kids because this turns into my purse when we're out. I have an extra baggie of one serving of food, just in case you never know if we're gonna get stuck somewhere or at somebody's house, I wanna be able to feed him. So that's what's in that compartment. We got some super cute little puppy shoes for him. It is so hot here, even at eight o'clock in the morning this morning, I could not walk him because it was so hot on the ground. So we got him some shoes, that way we can walk him whenever we need to. These will be in my next video of his four month pup date. So I will definitely talk more about these later. We also bring his treat bag, that way for training or anything, we always wanna make sure that we have this on hand. We have an extra leash, just in case something happens to the other leash. I also bought a 30 foot leash so we can practice recall. If we're at a park and he wants to run around kind of farther and explore, we're still able to keep him on a leash. So that has been nice. I, hi. I also have some insect repellent. This one's for flea and ticks. If we go camping, if we go hiking, if we go to a lake or anything like that, that would be really nice for that. I also keep these collapsible food bowls. One we can use for water, one we can use for food or whatever we need. But they're a little bit smaller than I would have liked, but you know what, they work. These are really nice because they have the lids on them. So if I ever need to keep anything inside them, I'll have a lid for that. I also keep, you know, some sunscreen for my kids cause you know, why not be random? I also keep a little first aid kit for him, for my kids. There's like band-aids, essential oils, uh, neosporin, headache medicine, Tylenol, ibuprofen, all the things. I also keep some puppy pads, haven't had to use them, but you never know if we're gonna be somewhere where we need them. And then I also keep, this is called a wet bag, it's actually for cloth diapers, but this is nice because it's a waterproof bag, so anything that gets wet or gross or dirty and I need to throw in here, I'll have this to put in there. I keep baby wipes in here. These are the water wipes, so there are no chemicals, there's no fragrance, um, anything, it's just water and wipes, so it's good for baby and for the dog. And that is about it in the big compartment. And another cool feature of this is in the back here, there is also a zipper with room to put a laptop if you need and some other things. There's kind of a 
mesh bag. So it's just more, more storage areas. Right now it's still got the diaper changing stuff in it, but I'm gonna take that out because we don't really need that, do we? But yeah, so far I really like this. I mean, like I said, this has been with us for about three years now. So it's still in pretty good shape and I figured, hey, why not repurpose it? Another thing I wanted to mention is that if you are packing your puppy bag to go pick him up for the first time, I definitely recommend taking a towel and maybe a blanket with you so that you can hold them and in case they have any accidents in the car or anything, you definitely want to have that. But basically everything that's in here would be a good idea for you to bring with you if you're going to pick him up for the first time as well. So, do you like your bag? Apparently. So that's about it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, I'll have all the links in the description below for everything that you see here. I hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time, bye.